Okay, folks, I had to kind of do an up, re upload of this or redo of this video because I realized that my microphone wasn't working. And I recorded the entire video and talked the whole time without my voice being heard. So whenever there was a pause in the video, it just paused <laughs> and there was no sound. Hey, I'm, I'm still new to this. I'm still learning how to do it, okay? So get off my back. <laughs> anyway. These these boys, these white boys, are in a library studying, and you can see Police Matters sticker. Uh-oh. How dare you go out in public and expose your opinion? Now, I'm going to be the first to tell you, I am not the biggest fan of, the, of, police, of police, for, uh, police departments in the first place. Do I think we're better with them than without them? Yes. Um, if we didn't have them, there would be literal anarchy. And people would just you know, people somebody could somebody'd walk up to you and shoot you because they didn't like your opinion. And while I think that's a lot of them, a lot of cops are uh, ignorant assholes. There are some that are actually all right. The problem is that the good ones are often often can't stand up against the bad ones because of they'll get retaliated on. But that's neither here nor there for this video. But. Just to let you know, that's my opinion. I'm not the biggest fan of, of police departments. Now, I am a fan of freedom of speech. Now, while this woman, yes, she is, she has, she has every right in the world to say whatever she wants. So do these guys, and she'll say that it's not that she's not giving them grief over the sticker. She's just giving them grief because they're white boys in a, in, a, in a multicultural space because white has no culture, apparently, according to, this, according to this woman. Let me tell you something. Do you, know who the Scot, who, do you know who the Scottish are? Bagpipes, kilts, banshees, caber toss. Aye, that's how crazy us Scotsmen are. All right, that's my ancestry. That's how crazy we are. We throw trees for sport, you jackasses. All right? I might be white, but I have a culture. I have a background. Now, I will say this. An accident of birth is nothing to be proud of. I was, I was born into a Scottish family. I very well could have been born black, blue, green. Hell, I could have been born as a coyote, coyote pup. It was luck of the draw, basically. <laughs> No, I'm saying, and I'm saying this because I firmly believe, like my belief system, like what I believe happens to us after we die is that electrical impulses run our brains. Well, when we die, where does that where does that electricity go? It can't be destroyed, so it has to go somewhere. I believe it goes back, that it goes back into the energy of the universe, and that we are the universe trying to experience things. What we call God is basically just the universal energy around us. So, that's my theory on, on, religi on religion right there. <laughs> and I lost my train of thought here, but anyway, I'm going to just go to the video and you listen to this. Oh, accident of birth, right. Just because you happen to be born a co certain color does not mean you're inherently evil or, in or stupid. Like, yeah, there are stereotypes for everything. There's a stereotype that Asians are bad drivers. There's a stereotype that black people like fried chicken and watermelon and malt liquor and cool and grape kool-aid grape drank i think that's what that's what that's what buddy used to call it grape drank <laughs> but i mean just because you're a color of a shade of a shade of anything does not mean you are that stereotypical thing like this black girl thinks that all white people are evil apparently I, I'm, I'm i'm going to assume that by the way she's talking but anyway i'll let you decide and I'm going like I usually do. I'm going to interject my own two cents in every now and then. What did I do wrong? You have a bad. You're you're offensive. You're offensive. I don't get that. Police lives matter. And 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 then she'll go on. She says police lives matter. Then she'll go on in a minute to say, well, it's I'm not I'm not coming up to you about the sticker. You have the same <laughs> sticker. We're just trying to do school. What? You guys have the same sticker as the other. But this is our space. 
We've got our a Police Lives Matter sticker and we're getting kicked out. Can't do school. You, you, you just said we have to leave. No, I said... You're making this space you uncomfortable. Making uncomfortable. But you're white. Do you understand what a multicultural space? It means you're not being centered. White's not a culture? Okay. Multicultural center does not include white people. You know, there's a word. Um, oh, they used it all the time back in the 60s. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of it. What is it? Oh, yeah, segregation. That's what these idiots want. Go look up, like, go look up pictures. Type in the word segregation into Google Image Search, and you'll see photos that say, um, well, that will show a fount water, two water fountains. One that says white people, white white folks only, and the other one that says, uh, what, well, not uh, colored people only. <clears throat> now I know I'm probably going to get yelled at for using the word colored, but <clears throat> that's what the pic, that's what the sign said over the fountain that a minority that a black person would would use back then. Okay, that's what these that's they want segregation, but they or but they they want it on. I don't I don't know what. Like it's all the same. If if you have a black only space and a white only space and a Asian only space and a, you know that right there is racism as far as I'm concerned. This girl is being racist towards these guys. There's no such thing as reverse racism. There is only racism. Literally, the definition of racism does not say white people being mean to black folk. It doesn't. Racism is evil, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's let's put it this way. Here's the dictionary definition of racism. Prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed at a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group. You know? Now, that, that right there. Or, the belief that different races pose, poses distinct characteristics, abilities, or qualities, especially so as to distinguish them as inferior or superior to one another. That is racism. That's racism. That's what racism is. That's it. There is no reverse racism. There is only racism. No, no, it's not a culture. It's white is not a culture. Say it again to the camera. You think whiteness is a culture? Like I said, my ancestry Scottish. Bagpipes, kilts, haggis, uh, banshees, and caper toss. Tell me, tell me that's not cultural. Tell me that's not a culture. Tell me. This is insane. So, anyways, this is the violence that ASU does, and this is the violence. What violence? This brain dead twit woman does not know what violence is. She does not know what violence is. This is not violence. There is no violence to other. Do I have to get the dictionary out again? Because I will, if I have to. ...type of people that they protect. Okay, this white man thinks he can take up our space, and this is why we need a multicultural space, because they think they can get away with this shit. I'm going to sit here the whole time, and you can find somebody to kick that, me That's cool. We, we're we not will. We're kicking you out. We're asking you to leave. We're not kicking you out. We're asking you to leave. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. You're telling them to get out. You're trying to kick them out. Whether you're asking them to leave or not. Or, you know, whether you ask them to leave or you get somebody from security to come and remove them. You're, you're, may, you're kicking them out. If you have any consideration for people of color and... Okay, there's another thing. People of color. I think that's just as racist a statement as colored people, to be honest with you. What's the difference? Here's the difference between people of color and colored people. They reversed the words and added an of in the middle of it. Color people. Take the color, put it on the front. People, people on the end and put an of in the middle. People of color. How is that not just as fucking racist as colored people? Tell me that. And no, I'm not being ignorant. I'm not being... I'm asking the fucking question. How is that... 
less racist. It's like black people that use the N-word with each other, and even though it's not a hard R at the end of it, it's an A. N A instead of N er. I'm not saying the word, I'm actually saying N and er, then saying N and A. Ah. That's the difference. There's an A ah at the end of one, the one they use, but there's an er at the end of the one. Like, we'll watch Django Unchained. You want to see gratuitous use of the N-word. <laughs> but here's the thing. Words only have the power you give them. And I don't let words hold, hold power over me. But I can get annoyed by people using terms that's, that, that are racist, in my opinion. So clearly don't. That I can go? Yeah, the whole rest of the oh, campus, the whole, the second floor, the first floor, the whole MU, every single part. Of so basically, this is the only section that she can use. She's not allowed to go on the first floor, the second floor, third floor, you know, you know whatever. This is the only section she can use. Like the rest of the campus is off limits to her. She can't leave this section. This is more bullshit that just uh, that divides us. The campus centers you. This is the only space that you're not centered and you're still trying to center yourself, which is peak white cis male bullshit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Would somebody please unplug me from the Matrix? Honestly, I'm done. Just pull me out now. Show me the exit. I want to get out. I'm sick of the simulation. It's gone. It, it's been developing too many fucking bugs lately. I want out. I want out. Let me out of this shit. Or at least reprogram this bullshit so that these so idiots don't freaking exist. You are racist. Your sticker is racist. It's because police, that's a job. You can choose to be a police. I, didn't, I don't choose to be black. I didn't choose to be white, bitch. Okay? No, you can choose to be a cop. You can choose to kill people with a badge, and you're protecting that shit. He's not protecting that shit. He's not standing up in front of a kill murderous cop saying, Don't judge this guy. Leave him alone. It, which means that you're racist. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to defend you guys. Don't apologize. Oh, God, I hate when people apologize for stuff. Listen, do not apologize because you will never stop. They will constantly demand you apologize. If I'm wrong, I will apologize. But if I've done nothing wrong, I will not apologize for anything. <laughs> Too bad for you. So it sucks to be you. I know, I know, but this offends us automatically because these people kill people like me and like us, right? Oh, for God's sake. More white people die from, from interactions with cops than black people do. do. Also, why, do 13, why is 13% of the population responsible for 50% of the crime? But anyway, no, but I can't, I'm sorry, I can't say that. I'm ra it's racist. I so you're promoting our murderers. So please just don't do that. <laughs> I like this guy. This guy in the back here, on the right, well, middle of the screen more, but anyway, he's actually defending the white boys. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. So why should that bother you? Because, do you understand that police lives matter was in response to Black Lives Matter? Let me tell you something about Black Lives Matter. Go ask them where the money is that they got. Where all that money went. They got bill. They got millions. Like how, like I think they've made a billion dollars in donations. Where's that money? I think some of it went to buy like four houses that are not going to be used to help black people. No, I would listen. I will literally bake a loaf of bread and write these words on it and then eat it. I will eat my words if this is if, if you can prove differently. Did any of that money from Black Lives Matter that was given to Black Lives Matter go to help rebuild 
the the black black owned businesses that were destroyed in the riots did it buy one poor black family a week's worth of groceries did it help a poor black family pay their rent for the month where did that money go what did they do with it other than buying houses for their own personal property taxes and whatnot or property to, to use as their own for, for their for themselves where did the money go if you can show me that one dollar of that went to buy one black one poor black guy a cup of coffee not the leaders of the of the movement but there are no leaders really because you know but if you can prove to me that one dollar went to buy some poor black homeless guy a cup of coffee I will bake a loaf of bread and write my words on it that that black lives matter sucks and I will write that on a loaf of bread and then eat it I will eat my words same fucking question as you Yep. Hold on. But there, yeah, that's but fine. You and you have everywhere. You have. I'm working study. 60 hours a week while going to school because my parents don't just give me money. And there you go, right there. Listen, listen to this young fella. You think white? You think there's white privilege? This guy's working a job to pay for college because he can't because he can't get a scholarship. I'll bet you the girl on the behind the camera. Bet you she's getting. I bet she's. I bet you she's on a ride, full ride. Full ride scholarship. I'll bet you. But this young fellow, this young fellow, this young white guy, can't get a can't get one because you know he's a white boy. But, uh, it doesn't okay, it doesn't matter. Did I do wrong? I wish the video was a little bit longer so I could find out what actually happened in the end. And I, if anybody knows, just let me tell me because I'd like to know how this how this uh, whole conflict ended. But. I have to say, when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. So when you have one, basically meaning that if you have one sim, sim, uh, singular way of looking at something, everything is that. If all you see is if you're if all you see is racism or all you think about is racism, all you're going to see is racism. If all you see is sexism, all, or all you think about is sexism, all you're going to see is sexism. If all, you, if all you think about is stealing, it's easy to see everyone else is a thief. This, this whole conflict did not have to happen. But this little girl got all up in her feelings and decided that she was going to... Why would you start taking video? That's my question. Why did she start recording? Because she wanted to put she wanted to go viral. Congratulations, you went viral viral for look and looking stupid while doing it. This 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 is why this is why people have such a disconnect from each other. That young fellow that stood up and came over and talked and said, why does the sticker bother you? Why are you letting it bother you? Get over it. Yeah, if he had that, if he didn't have that sticker, I wonder if she would have stood up and said anything to him. Yes, some cops are assholes. Yes, some cops are bad, evil, and should be shot out of a cannon, you know, into a brick wall. But, uh, you can't tar and feather white all white people with the same brush. Okay? This guy is not in there screaming the N-word or, you know, that, you know, that black people are, you know, like what there was a great there was a great scene from the show MASH. There was a character, and he was a black fella. And I think he was a I don't know if he was a surgeon or if no, I don't think he was a surgeon. I can't remember what he was. Maybe he was a corpsman. But he was a black guy, and his nickname was Spear Chucker. And this guy, you know, like the guy in the role, I don't think he ever had a problem with the, with with that with that nickname in the show. But that's the thing. I have been called, I have been called everything, every name you can think of. That's why none of none of these names bother. No names bother me anymore. Call me call me whatever you want. It doesn't bother me, because words have no power over me. I've had people call me gay. I've had them call me. See, that's that's the other thing. You call me gay, I'm gonna laugh and go whatever, because I know I'm not gay. So therefore, why would it bother me to be called it? 
If I'm not something, it doesn't bother me to be called that. But these people, I'm telling you, these they're like children, basically. They're children. And they cry because somebody said something. They cry because somebody said, oh, you're this, you're, this, you're that. Who cares if you're what, what you are? Don't get pissy. Don't get pissy and don't get mad. Don't. Why would you get mad and give somebody the satisfaction of knowing they made you mad? The only thing that really pisses me off is physical contact when I don't want it. If you walked up to me and hugged me and I don't know who you are and you didn't ask for a hug, I'm gonna I'm gonna push you backwards. I'm gonna probably push you through push you hard enough to put you through a wall because I don't like being touched by people I don't know. My nephew, my niece, my girl, my missus, you know, that's different. They can just walk up and hug me whenever they want because I enjoy that. I love, I love, I, I do love being hugged, okay? I'm a big softy, I'm a big teddy bear, you know? And people do like to hug me because I'm, I'm big and soft and squishy. <laughs> and hairy and furry. <laughs> but, I mean, you don't. Why, why, why do they let these words hurt them? Is beyond me. If somebody calls you a bad name that you don't like, the best thing you can do is look at them and laugh. Because if they think that it, because if they think it hurts you, they'll keep using it. How's that quote by Tyrion Lannister go? Never, never forget what you are, because the world won't. Armor yourself in it, wrap yourself in it, and that way the world cannot use it against you. Basically, if someone says something that you know calls you calls you a name, look at them and laugh. Tell them tell them that the word has no that good tr nice try but no uh, nice try but no cigar. You don't get the Cupid doll. People, like I learned a long time ago, I make fun of myself all the time. I rag on myself constantly. And it's a learned behavior from high school. Because back when I was in high school, you, they, like words, we were always told, word, nick sticks and stones, break your bones, names never hurt you. Well, names do hurt. But I started making fun of myself to make other people stop. Because what fun is it to make fun of someone or to call someone names if they're already doing it to themselves? People never wanted to fight me in school either. Not because I'm a giant, but because they, they, they knew I, they, they thought I was crazy. I know we're probably getting a little off kilter here or off uh, topic here, but I don't care. <clears throat> But yeah, let's go back. I'm not. Yeah, well, I'm gonna digress. I'll tell. I'll do story time later, some other time. Anyway, <clears throat> this is why people have a problem with other people with with, with uh, other races. It's not because of the color of their skin. It's the it's the fact that they're ignorant little assholes. I don't hate anybody. Never, I don't, I don't hold hate. I cannot hate people because I, I was such an angry young man for so long and I hated everyone and everything and I don't like hating. It does not feel good to me to hate others. I can dislike someone. Basically, I don't want to hang out. I don't want to talk and I don't want to deal with them. That's disliking someone. Hating, hate is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. I can dislike somebody like this. This the woman doing filming this. I dislike her. I dislike her to the to the nth degree. I dislike her very much. Not because of the color of her skin, but because she's an insufferable idiot. Treat, treating others badly does not make you look good. These young fellows weren't doing anything. Yeah, you can say police. You can you can say well it was the police police matter. A sticker that did it. That's why they. So what? If I wear a T-shirt that says "Your mom sucks dick," 
Why are you going to get mad at that? First off, how do you know I'm referring to your mom? It says your mom, but it could be talking about the person on your left or right. Who cares? Besides, who cares? They're words. My mother didn't give a rat's ass what people thought of her. She worked hard. She provided for her family because the sperm donor fucked off long ago, but, you know, whatever. He's dead too, and may he burn in hell for it. But anyway, I digress. She didn't give a shit what people thought. I have friends. Now, I know people are going to say, oh, yeah, you're just doing, using that using as an excuse. You have black friends. I do have black friends. I used to work with a fella. Black as a spades. He was my foreman on a job. We were clearing a trail. We were clearing trails. It was uh, going to be a walking trail. And uh, we, you know, we did our job. We did what we were supposed to do. And we had fun and joked around. And me and him called each other the most horrible names. <laughs> he'd come in and go, what up, honky? And I'd go, what up, my N-word? You know, like, I'd, I'd actually say the word. And he'd, he'd laugh and go, at least somebody, at least one of you white boys got the balls to say it. And I'm like, I just don't give a shit. I'm bigger than you. I don't care. It's like, it, was, it was all in good fun. I picked up a branch. I picked up a gnarled branch one day and I went, hey, look, it's an NB. N-word beater. And he looked at me and went, what? I said, it's a knobby branch. He goes, Knob start, knobby starts with a K. Not in my dictionary. <laughs> and, you know, like we got along like a house on fire. It was great. Like we got along great. But... People, they, they get so wound over words. Just ignore. Like, walk away. Ignore it. As long as somebody is not doing something to physically hurt somebody. Because emotionally, I can, I can just put a pair of headphones in and ignore you. And that's what I would do. If I'm, that's what I do when I'm out walking around in public. I put in headphones so I don't hear people. Unless I want to. But anyway. Folks. Stop stop being dicks to each other. Really. This has got to stop. This whole us versus them mentality. Or me versus you mentality. Has got to stop. You know, Black versus white. White versus yellow. Yellow versus red. Red versus blue. It's, it's got to end. It's got to stop. The only way it stops is if we stop it. Because the government's not going to stop it. They want us divided and fighting amongst each other so we don't realize they are the problem. They are the ones that are causing the chaos and the mayhem. They're the ones causing the problem in, in society, problems in society. The elite who run the government don't want us banding together. They want us separated. They don't want us standing shoulder to shoulder with each other. Looking at the tyrants and going, you move. We were we we will not move. You move. And that's the problem today. They we don't stand shoulder to shoulder. We look at we 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 divide ourselves into little camps and go. Well, we're not going to talk to them because they're color, they're white, or we're not going to talk to them because they're they're black. They're we're not going to talk to them because they're yellow. Who cares what color your skin is? We're all being fucked by the same asshole, by the same idiots, and it ain't each other. It's the elites and the government who are screwing us. But no, we'd rather all just sit back and blame each other. Maybe if we started telling the government to fuck, go fuck themselves, maybe things would start changing. Government would realize, you know, like we start kicking some of these politicians out of office, which we can legally do, by the way. We can get rid of these politicians. Legally. Okay? But they don't want you to know that. We can start getting rid of these people. So the division. They want us divided so we can't stand up and, and rally against them. Because if we ever all stood together, the government would, qu would be quaking in their boots. Right? I'll tell you that right now. But, until then, y'all be good to each other. And have a good one.